like there's this blanket that I had a baby blanket that I can't even imagine like throwing it away. Like if I threw it away, I can't. I wouldn't be able so to do it. It'd be, it'd be like feeling like murdering. You have so few things like that. Yeah, That's so weird. I can't picture. I didn't know you had anything like that. I was offered. Or, is to, that your mom's house? Yeah, she offered it to me, but I said I didn't want it because I'm afraid you don't want I'm to throw it away. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's. I told you, like my friend, um, in Kyle, Randy, in college, in the fraternity, he had a blankie, and um, <laughs> you still like, have it? No, because one weekend I told you about this. Like one weekend when I was gone. Um, the guys stole it from him and, and like, like they they like hurt, killed it or something. They, they, yeah, they 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 they. Wow, that's they, bad. Yeah, that's yeah. real bad. Yeah, it was horrible. And um, was he crying? I don't remember if he was crying. He was real upset and he just wanted it back. They wouldn't give it back. And then they, I think they destroyed it. I don't know if they burned it or. Oh my god, they're I, such bad people to do that. Well, they thought they were helping him because they were like, we're teaching him. To oh be my a, god, that's to crazy. To be an adult and everything, but like. I I wouldn't have let him do it, but I was away for the weekend. Like when it happened. Oh my yeah. god! I can't believe they did that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if he called do it. Do you his think blanket. they feel bad now? Uh, I don't know. I brought it up to the guys before. What did they say? I, some, I, I don't remember. Fuck that who, blanket. <laughs> I don't. Well, I brought it up to someone that I thought was involved in it. And he denied it. Yeah, he said he wasn't one of the guys that took it. But I have to ask. Uh, Deitch, how he felt about it. You know, it's, funny, it's funny, like, now, if that would have happened, there'd probably been tweets about it where you could, like, check to see who did it. Yo, we got the blanket. Add, you know, Randy or whatever, you yeah. know? Like, now, like back then, like, there's no, like, proof, you know? Well, it was when we all moved into this house, and we didn't, they, we didn't have electricity yet. There was, like, the electricity wasn't on. That's, it was, and I think all he had was, I don't remember, but it was a blanket he used to carry around all the time. It's like Linus from... Uh, I know. I, he didn't actually... Well, no, he didn't carry it around, but he always had it and he was, like, like to talk about it. And what did he say about it? Just like his blanket. I don't know if he called, well, it. He he called it, it. He might have called it his blanket. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think if he liked you, he let you hold it. <laughs> Kind of like you with your black T-shirt. <laughs> I don't have any kind of affection. I, I'm not my black T-shirts. I could throw out. Oh really? Like, just like I, they're nice, good T-shirts. That's why, I, like, teach. I have T-shirts from college that have writing on them that are special, though, and they're harder to throw out. Really? Yeah. Do you ever have something like some kind of object that gave you a bad memory and had to throw away? Sure, I have, but I can't. Nothing. I try to work on this tomorrow. Like if I have one bad day in an outfit, I can't wear it again. Really? Yeah. Is that why you're getting rid of stuff a lot? Yeah. Wow. No, I'm not like that. But I'm sure there's things. God forbid. I I could see things associated with bad things. There's some outfits where I had great days in, and I'm so sad I I didn't keep them. But what if like, so what if it's like what if it's like so. Do you have to throw out everything that you're wearing that day if it's a bad day? Um, like, what if it's, like, you also have, like, on your favorite pair of earrings that would happen on a great day? Like, what if, yeah, pre like, can an outfit change? Like, if it, the outfit was, like, uh, let's say something... Like, remember, want, remember that, like, gold dress I wore on that one concert? I like, love like, that. Okay, like, I got some bad comments about it, so I think it was like, Well, that's bad comments. It's not, like... I know, but it made me feel bad about it. Okay, but what if it was, like, because when you I wore... Oh, I loved you in that. Well, um, what if like uh, you had like one of the best days of your life in an outfit, and it, you were like, "Oh, it just made you feel good." Yeah. And so that's, and then you had a bad day in it. Yeah. Would you? Would the? Would the? Would you get rid of it then? Depends how bad the day was. So whichever way is more. Yeah. Uh, like I've sold things on like Craigslist and stuff, but like not near what it's worth, just because like. It gave me some kind of bad feeling. Now, do you feel you have to tell the person that's buying it? Like, no, I actually, no. What? I don't think some of good things about it, but I don't know. It, it's, uh, I, 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 you there know, was actually it, just an article it, in the news about that, about like if a landlord, or maybe I was reading like this old like New York Times real estate blog, like. If they're supposed to tell you if a bad thing, if they if they're obligated to tell you if something bad happened in the apartment. So I was just thinking, like if somebody died in the apartment. I, I told you the story. 
There was a guy that lived across from me in Brentwood, uh, across from my apartment. Yeah. And he, like, always talked to me, and he was always following me around, and everywhere I was at, he was at. And he was, like, like not stalking me, but, like, definitely knew where I was going to be and was there. I mean, and he, like, and all over the complex of the, you know, if I was at the pool, he was at the pool. If I was at the grocery store, he was at the grocery store. So then, he was, like, a very heavy drinker, and he actually drank himself to death in the apartment, and, like, nobody, like, he didn't really have friends or anything, you know, and, and uh, I just, I smelled this weird smell, so I went into the management office, and I said, I think, I really think my neighbor's dead. I really think he is. He was. Oh, my God. I just had a feeling. And then I couldn't sleep after that, because I'm like, if he's going to haunt somebody, it's going to be me, because he followed me around in life, you know, why wouldn't he? So I couldn't, I moved out, that, like, that day. You moved out? I moved out immediately. Because I'm like, if, some, if there's going to be a ghost. And it's gonna, you know, and he followed me around. I don't know. I just couldn't live there anymore. I had, wow. like, I had really creepy feelings about it. I couldn't. I just couldn't handle it. I'm like, and then I kept thinking, like, you know, imagine somebody lives directly across the hall from you. So every time you open your door, their door is usually open. It's like really scary. I wouldn't want to live somewhere where somebody died. Well, probably most places you have that are, you know, except brand new places have. Really? You think so? I, I, I don't know. I think like, most people die in their apartments. Well, it depends. It depends how long, like, they live there and, like, maybe I shouldn't say most. Probably not most, but you, I'm sure you lived in places where someone's died before. It, like, because you lived in buildings that are over 100 years old. Try not to. <laughs> I, I, I do think it affects the energy of a place, though. Like, you know, like the experiences that have been in it. I always, I always wonder, like, it'd be, like, is there something that's recording what's happening and like that we don't realize now, but years from now that they could like read a wall and see things that have happened? Do you know what I mean? You know, oh, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, is there something like, is there some kind of device that will come up within the future that can say, okay, not like from some supernatural way. What do you mean? Like our phones, like how they say they're tracking devices. Like, are there, is it, is it possible like, they said our phones are tracking devices first and foremost, second and secondary. They're uh, you know to make calls. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, what if, like right now we're, we're talking, and when you talk, it creates sound waves, and it, it's 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 doing something to the walls. But what if they came up with a device? In oh, the to future? be able to hear what we'd said in the past. Yeah, they they, they could read somehow the sound waves that made some kind of minute impressions on the walls or something like that. Oh. Why would they want to hear what we're saying? <laughs> Well, well, maybe it's like, oh, yeah, maybe. Just more stuff we couldn't throw out. But <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I don't want to stop talking because okay. I want to do some more. Want to have some Indian food? No. And some poop here? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want Indian food? You don't want any of food at all? Oh, my God, it looks great, but I want to wait till I'm hungry. Really? Yeah. How come you're not hungry now? What'd you eat? I had some uh, soup and... Uh, you had soup? Yeah. How was it? It was great. I kind of want some. It's very good. You should have some. We done? Yeah. This is a. Are you gonna make this into a podcast? I'm gonna try. Okay. Might be long. Yeah, I think it's very long. I, can kind of I wonder if anyone would listen to this whole thing. Well, whoever does should get a prize. <laughs> wait, we should have some code word. Oh yeah. Like wait. Okay, oh, if we you should, heard this word. But we should have. We should stick it like. Pook. We should stick it like. Like somewhere should, random. Yeah, like you should take this word and we. Oh, now the people will hear this part. Who so this whole part, word? you should put this like. You know, like forty minutes in. Just well, we for should a second. just keep talking after it. So then. Yeah, I don't feel like talking for forty <laughs> minutes right now. But what what could the word be? Who? Nah, because that's obvious. Like, maybe it should be like a number code or something. There. Four five one. <laughs> okay, four five one. Four five one. Just stick that in. Well, there. It should be something like old. More fun. Like, uh, that doesn't have to be. Oh, Ramona. <laughs> that's, all right. Huh? All right, that's fine. You met her the other day, so we'll yeah. say Ramona. So, or how about Pinot Grigio? She loves Pinot Grigio. Okay. Pinot Grigio. All right. So if you truly listen to this, which I doubt you did, because it's going to be in four parts. <laughs> really, it might be in four parts because on YouTube it's going to only be uh, ten minutes, so I don't know how long. But um. You know, I don't think I would ever listen to this. Like I, I, I listen I'm, to things long. I love you, and I love talking to you. But you don't think you listen to me talk before you this? I, I was ready to leave like ten minutes ago. <laughs> 
I'm well, sure you were too. I'm just tired. You've listened to podcasts that have been, you listen to these, these, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, therapy podcasts or whatever. But they have a point. Like, I like things this, that. How do they know that this doesn't have a point? Maybe what? the point comes at the end. <laughs> what's the point? You what, don't agree you. What's the lesson we've taught people? But what, what, sure. what, what Pookie means. Yeah. yeah we should think and of a, We should think of a lesson. Okay. What would be a lesson? What about the pair? What's the best lesson you've ever learned? In life? Yeah. Well, did anybody ever teach you anything? I tell you, know? one of my favorite things, I tell you this all the time, is a story about the elephant. What is it? Like where like 10 blind men come to an elephant and they all like, think they've discovered a different thing. Like one's touching its nose and thinks it's a snake and... One says, oh, no, it's definitely, like, it's touching his tail. And I don't remember what it, they think they're at the car wash. So like, we're definitely at the car, you know. So just from where they're experiencing it, it's a diff- totally different thing. You know what I learned? What? People will usually show you who they are right away, which is the opposite of your elephant thing. That's interesting. Yeah. That's really our different viewpoints of the world. Yeah. Yeah. If you really listen to what people are telling you, they will tell you immediately what they're after. Okay. Even elephants. Well, I just feel like I need to give you this warning because elephants are so interesting looking and so intelligent and look, they, they're something you could fall in love with if you had as a pet but they can be really dangerous and they do kill people sometimes they stomp them so if you had an elephant and it was like one of those elephants that kill people and stomp on them would you try to see like the good in them? yes right? Yeah. But keep it around even if there's a danger to your family or yes family. right? yes I, I don't know. It depends on the situation. Okay, so you love this elephant, but you know it's deadly. Deadly. You keep it around? I don't know. Probably not. All right. So then you should go by my thing. People tell you who they are right away. And I you should just listen. If you just listen to them. You're too quick to judge. Really? Yes. You're too slow to judge. All right. Do you want an elephant? No. Do you want that giraffe? Yeah. Is that cool looking? Yeah. Well, Why are you messing my hair up? Huh? Let's um. Let's go. I want to show you this video. There's a, a giraffe chasing a butterfly. That's really cute. It says it's chasing a butterfly, but I think it just starts to chase the butterfly. Then it, it's a baby giraffe chasing a butterfly. Yes, if anyone wants to look up something, but I don't. I think it ends up just running around, but it's still really cute. Watch it. Uh, look up Google baby giraffe chasing butterfly. Right, I love the end. Right. Right. Okay, how long is this?